Good morning, everyone. This is Tim Wilmot speaking from Wizard Systems. Thanks for joining me today for Goldmine 101, our regular series of Goldmine presentations. And this morning, I'm going to focus on reporting in Goldmine. Now, this is not the Crystal Reports Writer. It's meant to be just the built-in report writer that everyone's got in, in Goldmine. And we may, we may feature other reporting options that you've got in Goldmine in, in other presentations. Now, this session will be approximately 20 minutes or so. It's just an overview of the reporting feature. It's not meant to be in-depth training. My company, Wizard Systems, offer many extensive training options you might want to, to look at if you want to go into reporting in more detail. Now, on the call today, and we've got uh, well over 90 people on the call today, uh, so thanks very much for, for joining me. But uh, I, I know that um, looking down through the list of company names, everyone's using different versions of Goldmine. Uh, I'm going to be showing the latest version of Goldmine, Goldmine Premium Edition. Uh, but, but nearly everything I mentioned today is relevant to all versions of Goldmine. This report writer has been in, in the earlier Windows versions of Goldmine, so it's going to be relevant to, to everyone. Now, the audio part of this presentation is one way only. If you've got any questions, please type those into the question box on your meeting control panel, uh, which should be in the top right corner of your screen. I'll do my best to answer those at the end of the session. I'll just read out your first name, by the way, uh, to, to protect your privacy. Uh, and also, it, it might be a nice idea if you can restrict them around the reporting area, as that's our focus today. Um, but I'm more than happy to answer any other general question you've got on Goldmine. Now, also, this session has been recorded. After the presentation, you'll receive an email with a link to the recording, and we'll probably put it up on YouTube as well. Okay, so let's get started. First, a brief mention about Wizard Systems, my company. I know some people in the call have, or a lot of people in the call have worked with us before, but there's a few newcomers uh, where long-established goldmine suppliers working from the UK with dedicated solutions around goldmine. We provide any kind of goldmine service you care to mention, implementation help, consultancy, configuration, anything to do with goldmine, and also training. We can train you at your premises. You can come to us. We're based just north of Bristol in the UK. Uh, we can also provide online training, a bit more interactive to the, compared to today's session, but um, any kind of training you want, and also ongoing support as well. Okay, so the focus this morning is on the report writer. Let me just uh, dive into one of my demonstration systems here. Just bear with me. So here we are. The report writer, the report center in Goldmine, which you can access from your toolbar there or from the go to menu. But basically, when you get to report center, you'll see uh, your, your reports laid out, laid out into different categories. In the top left corner, there will be a user option. Now, all of your reports, and there's about 50 or so reports that ship with Goldmine to get you going. Um, you can change any of these reports. You can clone them or copy them for your own purposes. You can create a report from scratch if you want to. But they are stored in different user areas. So there's all your different users there. But initially, they'll be in the public area, the general area. So you have these report categories. And as I go through, I'll just highlight some of the more popular ones that I think most people use and just explain some of the options around those reports. So first of all, a popular category reports, contact reports, focusing on your customers and contacts within your Goldmine database. Well, quite a popular one is, the, is this wide line report here, uh, a landscape orientation, basically printing out a summary of the contacts in your Goldmine database. Now, before running this report, if you click with your right-hand mouse button, you will have a little local menu. And Goldmine being a Windows application, that right-hand mouse button works a lot. So if in doubt, 
click on highlight something, click on your right hand mouse button and, and invariably some extra options will appear. Well, layout will take you to the, the, the skeleton of this report, how, how essentially it's constructed. And uh, I'm not going to go into this in, in, in any detail today, but basically you have these different sections in the report and where you put information as reports, labels, headers, calculations, fields that will determine where it appears in your report when you run it. So that's the uh, a brief showing there of how you might edit the report. If I right click again, I go to options. Nearly all, all reports will have these options which allow you to drill down and determine what data additionally you may want to see on this report. So this being reports focusing on our contacts, our customers, we may, if reports um, have that data displayed or built into the layout, we can see here we can report on historical completed activities, outstanding activities, we can look at different users, date ranges of activities, and other related data as well. If you imagine your contact record and the tab bar appearing across the middle of the uh, contact record there, this relates to those tabs, the additional contacts, detail records, links tab, and so on. So there's your options. And then the other thing to consider are sorts. So when your report runs, when any report runs, there's got to be some kind of sequence. In what, in what order do you want the data to come out? In alphabetical order, date order, value order, and so on. And, and then do you want to restrict information that comes out as well? So if it's in a, a, a date range, for example, do you want to start at this date and go on to some other date? So this is all about the sequence of information coming out and the sort order, um, and any restrictions, any ranges of data that you want to look at as well. So to run this report, you just double click on it. And you, as you can see, they've got a nice, nice little preview there to give an example of what it could look like. But we double click on the report to run it, and this will preview this report. Now, when you run these reports, you will be additionally asked for whether you're reporting on the current customer you're looking at, the current contact record. Um, you might be able to just see it there, ABC Limited. Or do you want to report on your whole database or limit to a certain filter or group in your system? You click OK, and off it goes. It reports on, in this example, my contact wide line report data, a summary report, show me, show me row by row all of the basic um, basic information, dress information about my contacts. And then on this top toolbar here, you can see here some options then to physically print out that report. Or we could save it as, uh, um, save this report if we wanted to email it to somebody else. So that's a contact wide line report, generally a summary report. Now, another popular one here is a contact profile detail report. This generally focuses on one customer record, one contact record, and prints out pretty much all the information you've got about this customer. Again, if I just double click on this uh, report, I'll then confirm whether I want to print out this report for all the contacts in my database or just the current contact I'm looking at. Click OK, and this then is that contact profile detail report. Um, maybe several pages here of information about this customer, and you can see here these tabs appearing, details tabs, referrals tabs, pending activities, history activities, and so on. So pretty much printing out everything about that particular customer. Right, so that's contact reports, focusing on contact information. Then you've got calendar printouts, uh, for example. These aren't, in my experience, these aren't often used now. Of course, there are many mobile access options to, to Goldmine to see real time your, your activity and your calendar information. But here's a monthly report, and you can print this one out. 
And there we are, more of a graphical diary type uh, layout there. Now, um, there are some service reports and if anyone caught our service presentation the other week, we went through some of those service reports there. Another popular section or category are analysis reports. These focus mainly on sales. Of course, that's a key part of Goldmine, tracking your sales. And one nice one here, a fairly generic one, is this forecast is sales by user by month. Again, remember those options. You could go into those, and you can see here on the calendar data section, we're only printing out sales. If I wanted to print out potential up and coming sales for a certain user, well, here you are. You'd be able to select this option there and the, the date range of those opportunities and so on. Or maybe a, a particular type of opportunity or sale. Uh, that's that activity code there as well. So I double click to preview this report and there we are an example forecast to sell by user per month now uh, a final category reports here are labels and envelopes again not often used but you've got here all of the standard European UK European Avery label format 7160 through to 7165 um, 7161, I think, is uh, three three columns across. Again, I double-click to preview this report. I could uh, restrict this by a particular filter I previously saved. So maybe I've got a, a filter that's been created to filter my Bristol contacts. Click OK. And there we are printing out address labels there just for my Bristol contacts. So that's the Goldmine Report Writer. Um, as I say, this is just meant to be a brief introduction into the built-in Report Writer in Goldmine. Um, there are some other reporting options that you may want to consider with Goldmine. Recent releases of Goldmine have the dashboards, have Goldmine dashboards, very complementary to reporting, nice graphical um, displays of data, and uh, we do feature that on one of our regular weekly presentations. You've also got the the ability, provided you've got the security access to, to do this, to output data to Excel. Wherever you see rows and rows of information in Goldmine, um, a grid type display, you can right click and output to Excel and then do whatever you want to in Excel. There is support for Crystal Reports. Crystal Reports used to be supplied with Goldmine. You may have, if you purchase Goldmine, some years ago, you may have uh, uh, access to the report writer to create reports in the Crystal Reports format, but this now is separately priced. You can purchase it, and this is a much more powerful report writer if you want to do more mission critical reporting and and you want to have some some more sophisticated output requirements, formatting requirements, formulas, expressions graphs. Crystal also allows you to report on data outside of Goldmine as well. So it's not just specific for Goldmine. It could be used uh, in conjunction with other applications. Uh, and that's the, the separate Crystal Reports package that, um, that comes from SAP, SAP. And also we've got support for Microsoft reporting as well. So I'd now like to open up our presentation to any questions. Please locate your question section. Um, please also try and keep to the topic this morning, our built-in report writer. And we've got some questions coming in already. Question from Greg. Can you print can you report on projects? Well, there is a report, there is a project management feature of Goldmine. Um, most people will know that. Yes, you can report on projects in the analysis uh, category. There are some basic reports there on projects, Greg, so you might like to try those first. Um, very much depends on what you want to report on, whether it's just a summary of those projects or more in-depth uh, reporting on projects and task, tasks of projects, related information, and so on. Uh, so yes, you can. Um, next question from Tina, what are system reports? Uh, that was another 
category of reports you might have seen there in my, in my report center. Uh, basically, Tina, when you right-click over certain information in Goldmine, maybe your activity list or a list of uh, historical activities against a client's record, and you see the option print, that is referring to one of these built-in system reports. Basically, don't touch those. Uh, they're just built-in reports to manage the, the output information to your, to your printout, to a, a hard copy printout of that information. Uh, next question from Rick. How do you print out a sales forecast for a group of users? Well, what I didn't mention on reporting is that you can build in a what's called a filter condition into the report. Uh, this is defined in the layout of the report, Rick. Um, so when you go to the layouts, you can build you can build in a filter into that report. And in that filter will be a little expression to say, I want to print out sales for user Fred or user Mary or user Adam and so on. Um, so, so that's one way in which you could um, print out a sales forecast report there for a group of users. Uh, next question from Ivan. You mentioned printing labels. Can I print off? Can I print one off labels? Uh, Ivan, are you referring to maybe sort of shipping labels, maybe to put a package to go to a customer? Ah uh, yes, okay, yeah. So, so that that there are some uh, there are some label printers that Goldmine supports. Uh, you can print out labels either with the report writer or Goldmine's link to Word. Um, I'll email you after this call, Ivan. Um, some manufacturers. So we we use uh, a label printer at Wizard Systems. Um, I think it's. Uh, Casio label printer, but I'll I'll email you some um, some manufacturers that you may want to look at there. Okay, uh, just I um, don't think there's any more questions coming through there. If you do have any more questions, though, please email me. I'll give you my email address at the end of the call. Just some other items while I have you. We we have uh, released or Goldmine has released Hotfix Three, Goldmine 2015.1 Hotfix Three. These hot fixes come out uh, the beginning of every month. Um, generally, little fixes to issues there. Uh, we do mention this on our Goldmine blog. Um, let me just pop over here. Here's our Goldmine blog. So there we are, the full Monty there on Goldmine version 2015.1 hotfix 3, um, which you can access if you have a Goldmine maintenance contract. Also, we have a Goldmine Advance course, Goldmine Advanced Training course scheduled for 9th of September at our Bristol location. We have um, a, a few places available for this. If you're interested, please contact me. It's going to cover basically more advanced things in Goldmine, advanced filters, groups, reporting. We'll cover again email templates, the opportunity and project manager, uh, all the advanced stuff. So please contact me if you want any more information on that. Okay, well, um, thanks very much for your time this morning. There's my contact details. Please contact us if you want any more information on Goldmine, Goldmine upgrades, Goldmine training. My name's Tim Wilmot, company is Wizard Systems, and our main website, wizard-systems.co. UK. Thanks very much for attending. Uh, we'll, we'll be, we will be mailing out invitations to next Tuesday's presentation. I'm not sure exactly what topic will be, but uh, keep an eye out for your in, on your inbox, uh, maybe Friday afternoon when we'll be mailing out invitations to those. But thanks very much for your time. I do appreciate that and have a nice day. Thank you.